The sound. The sound of... The sound of Wiltshire. BBC Radio Wiltshire Breakfast. BBC Radio Wiltshire. Now, it's English Tourism Week, and to market, we are showing you just how much variety there is out there for visitors to enjoy in our glorious county. And this morning, it's all about your Sonic the Hedgehogs on your game gears. It's about your Horace Go skiings on your Spectrum 48Ks and your Granny's Garden on the BBC computer that the teacher used to roll out in the mid-80s in my classroom in Seamills in Bristol. Glorious computing moments. Karen Gardner is at the Museum of Computing in Swindon. KG, what are you pressing now? Well, I think I must be psychic because I'm standing in front of an Acorn BC Micro 1981 Whee! vintage. Get your granny's Have garden on. Go on. Chucky Eggs, it shows. Chucky Egg. Uh, uh, Chucky Egg. Do you remember Chucky Egg? Oh, Egg? you're doing this to me now. You're really floating my computer boat. Chucky Egg. I was great at Chucky Egg, Karen. Oh, well, you're going to have to tell me how to play it. And and the great thing about this fabulous museum, just round the corner from the Wyvern Theatre, is that it, it's a hands-on museum, and you can hear it in the background all the little chuntering going on of all these games ready for people to give them a try. They have a lot of children here. I've just learned about a scout group who've been doing their computing badge. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. But let's just unpick how it all started with Jeremy Holt, who was the founder, uh, 21 years old. But you conceived this more than 30 years ago. Yes, I came here from London in 1985. I realised what a hotbed of IT activity Swindon was. If you looked in the back of the advertiser, any kind of computer equipment sold very quickly. Uh, we had people like Intel and the British Computer Society here. And, you know, the town needed a few things to be known for. And I thought it would be a good idea to set up the country's first specialist computer museum. I had a friend called Simon Webb and we, he and I worked on this project together. I wrote to all the local IT companies saying what we were trying to do and half of them wrote back and said that they would support what we were up to and then 13 years later we managed to get a, a museum off the ground. Now, I've had a little look downstairs at your storeroom, and that's only part of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> items you've got squirreled away in your garage and elsewhere. Yeah, you've that, got... That's, that's meant to be secret, but don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. Well, I you... don't live anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> you have so much, so many items, from abacuses and calculators right through to fairly modern laptops. Uh, it, how do you choose what to put on display? It is an issue because it, we're offered a lot of stuff and if it's small, we're more likely to say yes. The original idea that I had for the museum uh, is if we only had a small amount of space, I was going to do a display of pocket calculators because so I thought they would be easy to store. So we haven't got any mainframes here because we just haven't got the space to be able to do it. And space is a big requirement. So if anyone's able to offer us any storage space in or around the Swindon area, we are very, very interested. You don't want to lose anything. Now, I asked you what your favourite item was, and very surprisingly, what you came up with was a cardboard box. It is, because computers have to come in a box, and we don't throw the boxes away, and on the top of the cabinets here, we have a display of the boxes that uh, the computers came in originally. Now, some of them look very sort of um, car booty, but there's one of the Sinclair QL that came out in 1985. And if you look at the typeface of the Sinclair QL, the QL stood for Quantum Leap. If you look at the colour of the box, you could sell a computer in that now. Oh, and yet it was, it yeah. was almost 40 years ago. You could, you could certainly pick it up and take it home. Let's ask Keith Maltimer, volunteer and curator here, uh, Ben mentioned the uh, BBC school computers and you picked that out as your item. I did uh, because when I started in primary school uh, this was the computer we had on a trolley there's one for the whole school with a monitor and a keyboard and that was wheeled around on a little trolley and that's uh, for a lot of people my age that was their first uh, exposure to computers. And it was really important because it opened the eyes of a generation to the fact that this would be what we would do at work. It did. I mean, this is one of Margaret Thatcher's legacies in that pushing that uh, agenda to teach uh, the new workforce of the future all about computers. And these were probably used for too long in schools? Well, I, I mean, obviously schools, you know, they, they've got to uh, keep their uh, devices and get the most out of them. But 
like with a lot of things, things shuffled down, so I suspect things lasted a lot longer in some schools than they should have. But you're very proud to hear it. Ben, it says here about oh, Chucky yeah. Egg, and oh. I have to say... Hen house, hen I, uh, We didn't have a computer in my school. I left before we, they got such things. Hen house, Harry... <laughs> Hen House Harry must climb ladders and jump between platforms to collect the eggs before the time runs out or he's eaten by a hen. That sounds a bit cruel to me. What was your <laughs> highest score? Do you remember? Oh, uh, five higher than yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never played it, so that was easy, wasn't it? I, um, it, it I, you... Honestly... It's time you came back here. I, oh, know, I know you've been it's, here once or twice, but you really is. do. It's it's really leapt up uh, a, a considerable amount in, in terms of the standard display. It's fabulous, Ben. I've loved you talking about your chucky eggs. Can you ask the guests for the next time we join you about their jet set willies, please, if you can? That'd be brilliant. Jet set willies. And also, I have found out about the uh, Little Professor Texas calculator or yes, whatever. You, Karen, I wrote it you, down, and you, we will we will you. unpack that later. <laughs> Hopefully your Spectrum 48K worked better than me and Karen just did then.